So the Hellblaster got over 900 kills using both barrage fire and standard shot. And we're here we're using the Empire Mortars against the zombies. Much slower to fire, so I don't know whether they'll be able to use all of their ammunition before the zombies reach them here. But uh, when they hit, they will be able to do a lot of damage with their area of effect weapons. So let's see. Yeah, there we go. Those are a lot of dead zombies. Very nice. But as you can see, they're much slower to fire. But their accuracy seems to be a bit better. Very good against most enemy formations like this. Let's see. Maybe I should give them not fire at the depleted units because that could reduce the kill count a bit. Let's fast forward. In my opinion, one of the better artillery pieces because of the ind indirect fire they are capable of. At least in a battlefield situation, because they are also cheaper. That needs to be keep in uh, needs to be kept in mind. They are about half the price of the of the other artillery pieces, and they will be able to fire for a long, long time. Will probably not be able to spend all of their ammunition before the zombies reach them. But when you have other units supporting them, that becomes a good thing that they're able to fire indirectly and to fire and to fire at um, and to fire the entire battle. Essentially, they will always be a significant threat on the battlefield if you're not able to get at them. So the zombies have almost reached them here. They are still doing damage. So, of course, breaking enemy units is a possibility when you're fighting anything but the undead. But fighting undead, that's not going to happen. You have to kill every single one. And even at close range, we are getting good hits here. So quite a few of these uh, units are very depleted now. I think this is a very good result for the Mortar. Considering that they still have uh, about, let's say, one-third ammunition left, a bit more maybe. And now that the zombies reach them, they won't be able to fire anymore. Let's see if they get a volley off. Uh, nope, okay. Let's end the test and see how many kills they got. Very impressive. Ammo left and 1100 kills for the Empire Mortars. So when you need to kill a lot of zombies, Mortar... Uh, the mortar is a great, great weapon. Strength and honor.